Hey guys, Beast here, and I want to cover some of the tripods and filming equipment that I've been using, uh, mostly tripods today, and you will not believe how difficult it is to actually do a tripod review if you're going to have all your tripods out. <laughs> um, you know, most of you are probably using a very similar sort of cheap Chinese, you know, local Target, all that. I think this one is a Polaroid. Um, this one is my third one, I believe. Um, they just don't seem to hold up very well. Um, you know, they've got telescoping legs, uh, they're about $20, um, the little arms start breaking off, um, they don't hold very well, they still jiggle quite a bit, um, they're nice, uh, but the difficulty in this sort of style of cheap tripod comes in when you start putting more expensive cameras on them. Um, I had a pretty close call um, when this sort of lightweight flimsy tripod did get knocked over in the wind. And, um, of course, luckily it hit soft dirt and not a rock or something like that because that would just be a nightmare. $20 tripod for, you know, anywhere from, what, $300 to over $1,000, some of our cameras are, um, which gets a little ridiculous. Now, not to say that everyone needs the most high-end, crazy um, tripods, but um, I've found a nice medium anyway. And even the nicer tripods that are out there tend to be not just expensive, but they're quite heavy. They're not designed for travel. They are designed for, you know, much better quality. Um, not only in the materials, but the pictures that it produces. So one of the things I wanted to try out was the Mi Photo. Of course, it comes in this lovely carrying case, which I don't ever use, really. Just did that for the uh, review. It will keep it padded. Um, and these come in a myriad of different colors. I happen to get orange because I happen to really need one right before a trip. And um, they do have other colors, black and green and all sorts of stuff. But one of the things you're going to notice is this is all really nice aluminum. Now, as far as weight goes, I will say that these are probably fairly equal. This may even be a smidge heavier. But what you're getting with that is a really tiny package. Um, you've got more telescoping um, feet. So you can do basically the same height and the same as the $20 one here. You're getting full height with this one. And I believe this is called the Traveler um, or the Backpacker. I've had it for quite a while. So honestly, I don't remember. And I don't think anything on here says other than MIFO. Um, I'll give you this little. Don't forget to bump the uh, camera. That's how professionals do it. Isn't that right? All right, there's the serial number for the aluminum tripod. And of course, these are very simple. You unlock, put them back in. Nice, confident, good sturdy feet. Um, you'll see this thing, I did not clean it. Um, it's been riding around in the motorcycle. Um, but what you're gonna get is these fully come all the way around and you can lock them in several different places. So although it's gonna be difficult to demonstrate here in the studio, or you can see the second position there locks in really nice uh, jointed action all the aluminum is really well done it just feels solid and secure now there is even a spot to add a weight to the bottom you can if you have a weighted bean bag or something like that this little hook will extend so in windy conditions you can really lock this thing down um, no qualms about it going anywhere and then of course the uh, the main piece here will extend up higher all right so the side to side action very smooth on the rotating head get some nice sweeping pan shots now you also notice there isn't any other handles uh, which some of the higher end professional ones would do so you just have to do it with your hand but you can see slight resistance for nice smooth pan shots um, very well done it does have a uh, floating head design it is uh, scalloped here in the front so you can actually get full down mode or straight up and down if you're doing astro shots. Um, again, really nice, just machined, nice solid locking piece in here. Um, now the bonus as well, if you lock that down, you can actually unscrew this floating head and you can use this on other devices, whether you need to just do a solid mount onto some sort of robotic head that you're using here or if you're trying to put the floating head on something else like an actual slide or whatnot, then you've got the ability to do that without having to purchase extra pieces. Um, so really well thought out, very well made. 
I think this was 120 something like that, a few years ago on Amazon. Um, I don't know what they are now, but I think it's a very good compromise. Again, the weight is uh, going to be up there just a little bit because of the aluminum over the, the bare bones plastic, but you guys start putting nicer cameras on these things, and I would hate to see something crazy happen. Um, do yourself an investment, at least somewhere around the $100 mark. Um, if you're going to be doing this for a while, um, or just to save the investment of a $1,000 camera on a $20 tripod. Uh, the Mi Photo has been very impressed, uh, impressive with me. Uh, I very much like it. In fact, I've bought a second one, which is what I'm finally using uh, for this video here. Um, a little bit smaller even for the motorcycle. This one's going to be great for around the house, studio, stuff like that. Maybe second camera. Um, or if I just want to swap the heads and use something else. And then I picked up the little baby one um, that they make as well for the motorcycle. Because they didn't quite need as big a tripod, I found out, um, for the motorcycle adventures. So, anyway, guys, hope this uh, helps you out. This is the Mi Photo. If you have any questions, um, if you're wondering what to go for, or if you're looking at a tripod, um, you know, I'm not huge on the big, super expensive stuff just because they are so heavy. Um, I'm more interested in high quality, but still light and small and compact enough to travel. And I think that's really where this shines here. So, anyway, you guys have a great day. Peace out.